watch these two clips with me. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you care about the planet, good lady? Like, do you have ecological concern for real? Like, from a biblical perspective, we were, we were given, we, we were given, the Lord gave us dominion over the planet and the creatures thereof. Now, the original translations of dominion means to care for and nurture. So from a biblical perspective, I am an environmentalist. I love my planet, and the people, and the creatures thereof. Do you? Jehovah and Jesus tell us to be content now with a spiritual paradise and to concentrate on our life-saving preaching work and that they will provide a physical paradise later. 1 Peter 2.11 indicates that we should view ourselves as temporary residents who are just passing through this whole system and headed for the real life in the new world. Did you notice a commonality between these two numbnuts? How fucking ironic that people who are supposedly caretakers of this earth treat it like a temporary domicile, just passing through, trashing it, stealing land, using its resources, while promising the hopes of a better afterlife. Hmm. You want to own this planet like you want to own our bodies, and the nonchalant treatment is just exhausting. God created this beautiful planet as a gift to us, and it was so exhaustive that he had to rest a day. Yet you don't consider the massive levels of extinctions that humans have called an egregious sin? Are we not stewards by your very own words? And your concern is focusing on what rights we're entitled to as human beings, instead of just focusing on yourself and being better. Take accountability for your sins against this planet and stop treating it like a temporary shithole that you're just passing through because it's the only one that we got. And if you want your afterlife so bad that you're willing to take the rest of us down with you, I think it might be time to seek therapy. Yeah. <laughs>